bomb experts inside the school tell NBC News the two suspects who died in the attack carried pipe bombs in two backpacks and hid other bombs in a car parked outside, returning to the car during the attack to get more bombs. Sources also say the two suspects rigged 8 to 10 homemade grenades to their vests. CO2 cans topped with gunpowder and a match, ignited by striking the match against flint-like material attached to their coats. A system designed to allow them to shoot with one hand and throw grenades with the other simultaneously. Something bomb experts say they've never seen before. One of the founders of the group called the Trenchcoat Mafia tells NBC News four of them have been questioned by police. Joseph Stair says none of the other Trenchcoat Mafia knew of the specific plan to attack the school, but did expect some revenge on athletes at Columbine High after four years of battles. We hated each other. We really did. The athletes would threaten us, leave notes in lockers. As they were driving by, they'd throw glass bottles and rocks. And things at us. And so their large hatred built up between the two groups. Stair says Harris and Klebold asked for no help. He says some members of the Trenchcoat Mafia, including himself, did make pipe bombs frequently as, quote, something to do. But he says the two suspects knew enough about planning an attack and making bombs to pull it off alone. They knew how to make just about every type of explosive that you could make using household products. Bomb experts inside the building tell NBC News the two suspected shooters died together in a back corner of the library, both victims of self-inflicted shotgun blasts, their weapons all around them.